And this week we're going to look at a mobile navigation made up with variants. So if you go over here, we have this nice mobile navigation and we've put it all in variants and then it's really easy to just switch between the active states. So yeah, this is quite a simple video this week, but it's really handy to use this in your projects. All right, so let's have a look. So we're gonna work on this app called PuppyList. It's a super random app that I've been using for my uh, past video or for some of my past videos. Uh, over here, you see, we've already put the navigation bar. It's an auto layout, but I will talk about that later on. And then over here, we got this menu items. So if we go over here, we got an active menu item and a not active menu item. All right, so we're gonna select all these items, these frames, and then we're gonna do, then we're gonna use this plugin called batch create components so we can automatically create all these components. So over here, you see this button appear called combine as variants. And if we do that, we got a variant out of this. Now this is a good start, but we wanna make it easy by using states. We're gonna rename this a little bit. We're gonna add tab, which is profile, right? And then state is true. And we're gonna use the same for this one, but here we're gonna put state is false. We're gonna do the same over here for favorites. The state is going to be false. And your puppy is the same. Puppies state is true. Maybe just copy this. All right. And then the state is false. So if we go over to our assets and we take an item over here, then we can easily just toggle the state with this toggle button. So if you put your state to true or false, you use this kind of Boolean action, then this toggle appears over here. And then at tap, we can just simply choose which item we want to use. All right, so this is quite cool. So if we go over to our navigation over here, all righty, we're just gonna drag it inside. It automatically has a good layout because we've added auto layout over here. We've set it to space between, we added some padding like this. So over here for the items, we wanna put this one to active and then this one we wanna change to favorites and profile. And like this, super quick, super easy. You have a bottom navigation fully made up in variants. So if you make another page for your app, like a favorites page, you can just easily copy it. And then you can play with these variants like this. And you easily have a nice dynamic bottom navigation. So yeah, this was a quite short video this week, I know, but it's a really easy one, a really easy trick to use, and it will give you a lot of productivity. It will just enhance your productivity a lot more and, it, and, and your workflow will be much more efficient.